Hi all, this is Jan Almighty and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about bishop endgames. Specifically, how to checkmate the black king with two bishops. That's right, so previously we had one queen and one rook, but to checkmate with the bishops you need two. So let me show you. In this case, uh, black king is already on the back rank and we need to push him into the corner. So we do the following. We check him like this. He cannot move here because of the white bishop is cutting off that square and he needs to move back. So he goes here, we check him, he goes here, and this is checkmate. So let me show you in a few random positions how to checkmate the black king. So okay, we have a random position here. And let me tell you off the bat that uh, checking uh, the checkmating the black king with bishops isn't like uh, with the rook or a queen where you have some pattern that you need to follow. It's just a matter of technique. So in this case, what do we want to do? We want to use two bishops and their strength to cutting off diagon diagonals to, uh, to push the black king to the corner. And in that way, when he push him back into the corner, we can checkmate him. Okay, so for starters, let's say we will play bishop to c4. Why? So that the black king cannot move on this side, because those two bishops are cutting off these diagonals, and we need, we need him to go on the right side of the board. So he goes here. What do we do now? We put this bishop here, and now with cutting off this line and this line, he again cannot move here. He needs to go this way. So he goes here, we do it once again, he comes here, and now unfortunately we cannot play bishop to d2 because of our king, and we need to think of something else. So let's say for example that we bring our king closer, and that is fine. I mean, there isn't no like a certain set of rules for this checkmating, you just need to have a technique. And with a lot of training and a lot of uh, positions where you have two bishops and you try to checkmate them you will you will reach that technique so okay let's say for example that he goes here and in this case uh, we are cutting off these two diagonals we want to push him let's say down down here so let's start with putting the bishop like for example here and now he needs to move back because again the bishops are slicing these diagonals he goes here and now uh, to disable him this square, we will put the bishop here. And that is fine. Now he needs to go here. Okay, if we put the bishop here, we are cutting off this square. He needs to go back. Okay, once again. This time, uh, because he can actually go here and escape, and we don't want to give him that. He is already on the uh, edge of the board, and we want to keep him there. So, for example, we put the king here. And now, if he goes back, we don't care. We can put the bishop here. Now we are cutting off all of these squares and the king is taking care of the rest. He goes here, and now with this bishop, we are cutting off this square. We are pushing him in the corner even more. Now, for example, he goes here. We, we play the king. Again, we don't want him to go here. For example, if he plays here, we put the bishop like in the less situation so there is maybe a pattern but it isn't like you should always do it like this and you will checkmate them sometimes you have to think of another idea but all of them are pretty straightforward so okay now because he cannot move here or here he needs to go back we put the bishop here and he goes here and now we don't want to put the bishop here because that would result in a stalemate first what we would like to do we will just put our bishop here, like give him, give him the move. So when he comes here, we can check him, and need he he cannot go here because of the white bishop who is slicing here, and now he has to go to the corner, and in the end he will be checkmated. So let's repeat. Uh, in this case, again we will put the bishop on c4, but let's play differently with the black king. For example, if he moves on f6 this time instead of f5, maybe something will be different. But to be honest, it won't be. We will checkmate him once again, but maybe in a different manner. So, okay, king to f4, we follow him with the king this time. Since the king needs to also help, 
it's not enough to put the bishops on diagonals cutting off the lines so he is also helping this way and the black king needs to move for example if he goes to g7 we follow him again and now uh, if he wants to go to the corner right away, for example, if he plays uh, King h7 first, uh, we don't want to put the bishop here. We always have to be aware of that there is a possibility of stalemate uh, in these kinds of situations. Uh, we would, we will, let's try and do this. So, for example, now uh, he has two options. He can go on h8 or h6. For example, if he goes to h6, then we can probably push him down there. But let's say if he goes to h8, what can we do here? So here, for example, we put the bishop here and we don't want to give him back this line. Since he is in the corner, we want to keep him there. So the only square he can go to is g8. And now since the black bishop is cutting off this diagonal and the white is cutting off this one, we want to put the king here. And now he cannot escape. He is in the corner. Yeah, the the result is always the same. With two bishops, you can checkmate him, push him into the corner, and that's it. Go here. Uh, we don't want to put the bishop on c4. So, for example, put him to b5. He goes here. You check him first like this. He goes here, and then you checkmate him. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this video. In uh, this situation, we have... Uh, two bishops uh, against the black king all of them are on the edge of the board and uh, What I would like for you to do is try and checkmate them What you can do you can use this position as a guide Import it into some of the editor or you can use it with some machine and try play against it Try play play against an engine and this way you will train and train until you become uh, faster and more precise in checkmating with two bishops Okay so thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.